Welcome to episode 4 of my Dark Souls Let's Play. We just defeated the Bell Gargoyles and we're gonna go to Sand's Fortress? Or the Forest? I'm not sure. But I think we're gonna go through the Sand's Fortress because it should be the second thing you're gonna do. It's way too long of a... What do you call it? <laughs> Climb down, yeah. If you're wondering who that guy was over there, it's a multiplayer thing. Um, in several ways, you could create sins in this game, and he's the one that could purge you of your sins if you want to. That's all a multiplayer thing, I believe, though. So it doesn't really affect me. So right now, we're going to go down back to where the blacksmith is, and then go through where Onion Man is. And then it should open up, I believe. Oh no, that's not right. That's not right. You have to go to the... You have to go through Quaylag first, actually. I forgot. Before it opens up. Let me think. Maybe we should go through the forest then. We forgot about that. So this part, thank god, I finally, I think I finally fixed the audio problem. <sighs> Took like four episodes too. At one point you can hear the game, and now you can hear my voice. And that should be all fixed now, hopefully. Let's just go all strength. Maybe, maybe three into here and three, or two, one more in here. Now we should be able to put more gear though. Right? No, nope, still fat rolling. Okay. Still get better. I'll take it. Okay, so here. There's a demon in here. That's more like a skill checkpoint. If you could take you could go around him, but you're not really supposed to... He's more... What do you say? Yeah, a skill checkpoint. You're supposed to beat him and not supposed to go past him if you can't. You can go around him if you want, which I might. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, man. I meant to dodge. Luckily, I took everything already. I used up all the souls already. I have to let my cat in. Okay, we'll go through one more time. Okay, I'm pretty sure I could beat, beat him easily. If I just actually time it right. Those sweeping attacks get you real hard. Maybe you should start using a shield for once. It's right after you uh, strike one. 
Maybe just have to time it properly. What was that? Man, hard to time. It does have a jumping attack where it jumps straight at you if you're too far away. Right there. No, I can't. Man. I think I got him. I think I got him down already. Not yet. Very slow fight. I think I got it. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh man. I'll try one more time. Maybe without shield. I mean, without the armor. And I can just focus on dodging instead. There we go, I think I got it. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. I think I got enough. I'll go for a few more. Yeah, dodging seems to be better than just armoring for me. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't get it. Oh, okay. Seems like I have to time it properly a bit more. Okay. Drink once. Come on. We'll keep the shield up for a bit now. I'm just gonna go for one more. No? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're getting him at least. We might go for a jump attack. No, no, no. Yeah. Just, I don't get it. How do you time it? Oh, can you hit me from here? No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. There's that, I guess. Alright, welcome to the forest. This part has a bunch of little creatures that will sneak up behind you and chase you around like crazy. So, and they're disguised, so be careful for them. They look like trees like this guy. Oh. 
Luckily, you could just keep doing this to them, too. Game, be honest, like, this is actually my least favorite area in the map. I mean, game. I just don't like it. It's creepy. Come behind me. Oh, yeah, they also grab you. So be careful of that. And they'll probably take all your health. There's a lot of characters in the game that do that. Did you see that? Oh, okay. Also, a secret wall over here where you get a bonfire. Let's see if we can level up. I'll show up. Oops. Oh, man. We'll go towards getting the shield now. The shield should ref. Uh, should refresh your health but I think it only blocks like 90 95% of damage so you still get hit even if you get blocked I mean even if you even if you block Along the way, you should see a black knight. I'm not sure if we can actually deal with him. Let's see. Or maybe this is the way to the Hydra, which I don't want to deal with right now, actually. That's one of those lizard things, right? Yeah. Okay. You should try to get these whenever you can. You only spawn once once you kill them. Drop all the upgrade pieces, like valuable ones like those. Hmm, I thought it's here. Oh, that's probably it. No, it's not. Well, we could probably use it. Where is it? I guess. Kind of more faster, but okay. Let's see. Maybe he's over here. Nothing's over here. Alright. Not sure, but this place might also lead to the butterfly, but I'm not sure. Butterfly boss. Oh, I swore it's somewhere here. Where is this where I came from? Yeah, it is, huh? Okay. Huh. I swore it's somewhere here. Alright. We'll just keep going, I guess. where the giants are? No. Oh yeah, this okay. These guys do a ton of damage to you, so be careful. Kinda slow, but they hit hard. Not sure if one's already chasing me yet. There is. Oh 
Christ, okay. Shouldn't be the only one yet. Be careful those guys. In that castle area over there, that's Rook in there. Um, I might be able to deal with him, I'm not sure, but... Ah, uh, Tiger, okay, I'm not dealing with that right now. He's killing the dudes for me. That's nice. I just not too hard, but it's mostly luck. You have to hope he just keeps popping his head down so you could strike him. That's really it. But right now, a few hits will kill us instantly, so it's best not to deal with that. I guess we we'll go through Rook, see what happens. Where is he? There he is. Where's the stairs? Alright. Let's go up here. I'm not sure, but I think we can parry him, but... Like that. You just keep doing that the whole time. He's tanky as all hell, but you could do it. Just keep your shield out. Backstab him. Keep doing that. I should be all over. Sometimes he changes his playstyle a bit to get out of that. So it becomes harder. But in general, just spinning around, spin around him, put your shield up, wait for him to attack, go behind him and kill him. Strike him and kill him. See, this is what I mean. Sometimes he stalls a bit because he knows what you're doing. Like he knows what you're doing. Oh, see that? Nah, that's what's up. Careful of that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, he got me. I'm not sure why that didn't count, but okay. Put your shield down so your stamina, stamina refreshes a bit faster. So you're ready for him to strike you. If that happens. Okay. Oh, that was far enough. Oh. I messed up my own rule. Okay. I keep dying to everyone today. Alright, let's go at him one more time, right? Let's go up. This spot's slightly better because I feel it's a bit more open. So let's just bring him up here for a bit. Like this. Okay. Just keep going around, backstab. Oh. So weird sometimes, I don't know. What registers or not? I almost died. I let go of the trigger for a bit. Hmm. It's probably better if you, when you're about to backstab, you make it two-handed so it does a bit more damage. I'm not risking that right now. Doing everything right now properly, okay. Yeah, it's a bit harder too. <laughs> okay, come on man. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Alright. Bit of friendship made over there in that moment. Okay, I saw for a bit. I saw which direction he was about to swing at.
Oh, uh, I might have messed up. Okay. Okay. I think I noticed it's about 40 more damage when you hit him with two handed, so let's keep doing that. By lure, he's actually supposed to represent a really famous warrior in this universe. Well, it's not even the real him, it's like an imposter or something. Maybe a knight of his. We don't know. Oh yeah, this one's sick. He start carrying a lot of stuff. It increases how much you could carry while... Carry... Increases how much you could carry without fat rolling and stuff. So I guess now I'll start wearing a lot more armor. I'm not sure by how much though. Never tell you real stats. Night. Night. Let's see. Yeah, I see that. Nice. Maybe we start wearing full night. Probably not though. Oh, we can. Okay. That is nice. All right. Isn't that nice? So it's all worth being here. Huh? go next <laughs> i can't find a shield i don't know where it is i don't think there's anywhere anything to go past the hydras it doesn't block anything except the dlc which you can only go through later hmm. and i believe the way to go past that gate you saw near the bonfire it's like ten thousand souls or something so I guess we could check it right now, see how much it is. If it is, we'll do that now. We might end it right after we meet the blacksmith though. The blacksmith's the one that sells the key to open that gate. That sword's somewhere here though. That's so weird. Is that it? I saw something moving over there. No, that's probably just a tree. I think I'd like to let go at least one more. Maybe load their pants. Same thing. Maybe no helmet. Maybe night pants. Okay, I'll keep that for now. This is the same, is it? Oh, it is the same. Okay. Hmm. Maybe that's as fast as you go. Well, you need. The item. Twenty thousand. Damn. Okay. Okay, I think I'll end this episode here, and um, in the next one. We will be going through, I believe, I forgot what it's called, <laughs> but it's, it's often considered the worst area in the game. It's Blight Town, I think? Yeah. We'll, go, we'll be heading there. We're not going straight to it. Um, yeah, that'll be episode six. If you liked the video, please leave a like. It does a lot to help the small channel. 
and I hope to see you on the next one. See ya.